Is the Spyro Reignited Trilogy a remaster or a remake? Let's find out. What's up guys, Canadian Guy here and back with the video that has been hotly debated on the interwebs about the Spyro Reignited Trilogy. The question being, is Spyro Reignited a remake or a remaster. Before we can delve into this issue, we need to look at what exactly a remaster is and what a remake is. A remaster is when you take a piece of media, improve upon what is there, perhaps make a few tweaks for improvements, but it's still the exact same piece from before. A remake is when you redo everything from the ground up and do it again with changes and alterations. A few good examples of what a remaster is would be the Uncharted Nathan Drake Collection, Halo Master Chief Collection, and the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 1. As you can see, a lot of the times a remaster could be a simple port and just upscale for the new console. But they can also have improvements and quality of life changes, but not too extensive. However, for a remake, a few examples would be the upcoming Final Fantasy VII, Ratchet and Clank for PS4, and Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. These are examples of games that had another game before them, but was given another shot. Think of it as a attempt number two, where they keep the same idea of the original, but add on to it and remake it from the ground up. This can include new stories, mechanics, and even characters! So, now that we have a base level of what exactly a remaster and a remake is, what would the Reignited Trilogy be considered as? People have argued since they have seen the announcement of what exactly the Spyro Reignited Trilogy should be considered as. Duck season. So let's try to get to the bottom of this. If we say that Spyro is a remaster, where they take the original file and approve upon it, but the source is still the same, would that fit? Well, not really. See, Spyro Reignited did not have any of the original source material, so it's kind of hard to remaster something that's not really there. Also, there have been many creative changes applied to the game that vary quite significantly from the original, which would break the concept of a simple remaster. So, that must mean it's a remake, right? Well, it's not really that either. See, they may have not had the original source material, but they created a tool to bring back the source. They did not fix the hitboxes or try to improve upon what was there. It's still, in a technical sense, the exact same game. If it were a remake, things like hitboxes, glitches, and other issues would be repaired and other elements would be improved upon in a technical sense. But from what I have experienced and seen, it would seem that the hitboxes are almost exactly the same, for better or for worse. This also applies to the platforming and other elements of the game. So to put the Spyro Reignited Trilogy in either section doesn't really seem to work in my opinion. So once again, we have to turn to our fellow Orange Marsipule with his awesome and insane trilogy, Crash Bandicoot. This game so far is one of the closest types of remake or remaster to the Reignited Trilogy as they tried to emulate the same concept of trying to get the original source code. Fortunately for them, Naughty Dog had the original codes. They used the original geometries of the original games and rebuilt everything from the ground up. So what did the developers of the game call them? On the game's case, it says Remaster, but according to one of the directors of the Insane Trilogy, Dan Tangway, Vicarious Visions coined it as a Remaster Plus. Basically, it is a reskin of the original games, but the same tech is running underneath it with some things added and remade. So is that it? Is Spyro hitting that term Remaster Plus? Should that be the term that we use for it? Well, I think it's a better fit than simply saying it's a straight remaster or a straight remake, but it's still not quite hitting all the bases in my opinion. See, if you were to look at the Insane Trilogy, you could turn and say, Oh yeah, this is how I remember the game, because of the nostalgia rose-tinted goggles fills in the blanks. This was something amazing that the Insane Trilogy was able to achieve. 
but with Spyro, they're pushing things to the point where they're adding on to what was there and making it as if it was made today while keeping the spirit of the original. A lot of stuff has been changed to where people may not recognize the level or concept right away, but Toys for Bob is trying to remake what was there and then improve upon it with today's technology and imagination, as they were limited at the time. I mentioned this before in a video, but I'll just quickly summarize. Crash could go for the Remaster Plus treatment because the original trilogy was linear but highly detailed, while Spyro was not quite as detailed but was open world. Spyro was not quite as detailed as Crash because the original discs would not be able to fit that type and size of game, but with today's technology, we can add on all the details for Spyro. So I wanted to make a new term for the Reignited Trilogy. Sure, Spyro still hits that Remaster Plus category, but I want to coin the new term Remake Light, or Light Remake, whichever you prefer. See, it is remade from the ground up, but in a sense, it's still the same game technically. So it has aspects of both Remaster and Remake, but in my opinion, it leans more towards a remake than a remaster. Crash's new trilogy was closer to the remaster archetype, but was much more, but not enough in my opinion to start touching the grounds of a remake. So I felt that splitting the hairs between a remake and a remaster plus would be a perfect spot for the Spyro Reignited trilogy. But that's just my idea. What do you guys think? Do you like the idea of a remake light? Comment below and let me know. Anyway guys, Thanks so much for watching, cue the extra.